Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate Christmas gift opening animation in After Effects. So for that, this is the illustration we are going to use in this lesson. And this is how the layers are separated in Illustrator to prepare the file for animation. Ok, let's jump into After Effects. So now, we are going to select all the layers of the cover and let's pre-comp it together. And then let's move the anchor point of the cover and put it at this edge. So after that, we are going to select all the layers excluding the box and shadow and background, parent it with the box. And also I'm going to move the anchor point of the box and put it over here. So if we move the box, everything should move together. And after that, let's turn off the visibility of this toys layer for now. So first we are going to add a squash and stretch animation and then we are going to lift up this cover to open the box. So let's jump on to around 60 frames and we are going to start our animation from this point. So select the box layer, press S to open the scale property, put a keyframe. And then let's jump on to next 10 frame. And we are going to add a small squash. Let's squash it about 5%. And after that, we are going to stretch it a bit. So again, let's jump on to next 10 frame. And let's copy and paste the initial keyframe. And we are going to add some stress of around 5%. Now let's jump on to around 6 frames and we are going to add some overshoot before it get back to its normal form. So here we are going to add some squash of around 3%. Let's add some lesser value. Let's give it around 1% of squash. Now after that, we are going to get back to the normal form. Select the keyframes and easy is it. Let's check out the animation. Okay, so here is our squash and stretch animation. Now after it squashes and then it get back to its normal form. Here you can see it is properly 100% and 100%. Here we are going to split the layer. And then we are going to simply give it none. So it's not parented anymore. And we are going to lift up the cover right now. So press P to open the position. Separate the dimension and we are only going to work with Y axis. So let's jump on to next around 10 frame. Or 12 frame. And let's put it somewhere around here. Maybe we can add some keyframe of rotation. Let's jump on to next 20 or 12 frames again. And let's copy and paste the initial keyframe. So at this point, we can add some overshoot with the rotation as well. So let's rotate it slightly this side, maybe around minus 2 degree. Here around 0 0.6 and then we can get back to its normal pose, which 0 degree. Select the keyframes, easy is it. Slightly offset the rotation. Let's check it out. Okay, I think we need to change the graph a bit. So let's get to the value graph and we are going to change the graph in such a way that it starts very fast at this point it should be slow and then again it is hitting hard so it is falling very fast so this is how the speed or the value graph should be 
Now let's check out. Yeah, this one is looking better. Now after that, we are going to add some follow through on this strings as well, this ribbons. So let's add that as well. So from this point, we are going to move the anchor point and put it over here for this one as well. Move the anchor point, put it over here and press R to open the rotation, put a keyframe over here. At this point, let's rotate it this side and this one this side. So it's basically 13, 13 and then again at this point, we can slightly rotate in the opposite side, maybe around minus 6. Now after that, okay, so it should be, it should have a slight offset, maybe at this point. Now after that, we can add some overshoot as well. So let's rotate it around 3 degree. Here 0 0.6. Minus 0 0.6 and here 0. Select the keyframes is easy. And we are going to offset one from the other and slightly offset this whole animation. Let's check it. Yeah, you can add, you can see that extra follow through in the ribbon animation. Alright. So the only thing that's left right now is to animate the gift. So let's turn off the visibility now. So basically we are going to move the whole thing down a bit. Now when it stretches, it should be going up a bit. And when it squashes, it is going to come down a bit. So let's turn off this layer and let's only focus on the timing of this box squash and stretch. So open the position, separate the dimension, put keyframe on position at this point as well, here and here and here as well. So at this point, we are going to bring it down a bit. Here, we are going to bring it up a bit. So we are going to decrease the di distance exponentially and here we are going to select the keyframes and easy is it. And I think we can slightly move it up a bit as well so that we can properly see it. Alright, let's check it now. I think we need to just move the blue color toy a bit down, somewhat like this. Now let's check it out. Alright, let's offset this from this squash and stretch animation and let's add some offset to the internal motion as well. So like this you can animate gift box opening animation in After Effects. So I would highly recommend you to try it on your own and do let me know if you have any doubt regarding the lesson. So that is it for this lesson. If you liked it, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the lesson, make sure to comment down. I would be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.